Blessings, everyone. Happy holidays. Happy solstice. Happy full moon in the sign of Cancer. And yes, I am full glitzed up tonight for just festive, creational, celebrational energies of creation that are coming through right now on this journey of union. Interesting enough, we got the first card is the Ace of stars, the ace of creation. So as I was speaking about love and unity and coming to this place at this time, and it kind of just like opened up the intro. It was like, here it is. This is right in front of us. And that's pretty much what this video is about. It's like union is here. Joy is here. Celebration is here. Abundance is here. Um, we have done a lot of work this year. All of us have energetically, physically, emotionally, spiritually. And now we're coming to this like temple aspect of coming home fully. It's like the music has been turned on again. For myself on my journey, the music was off for a long time. And now it's like coming home to the sound, coming home to the love, coming home to the frequency of music and sound creation, which we are. And, you know, the the journey of the union as part of symphony and love and creation and expression and all aspects and my hands and my feet are just so warm right now it's just internal aspect of love and that internal aspect of love is where the union is it's really in that creational aspect of the sacral chakra and the heart and the heart is like fully on beating and the flame has been ignited on all levels for myself especially and I'm so grateful for this energy and this journey and these layers of love and the emotions and all of it. it's like you can really feel and the feeling is where it needs to have come to to create and this creational aspect on this reading is about the full crowning is about the creation of the union the star is where the soul is and it makes me really emotional right now just feeling and thinking about all that and listening to all this old music i haven't listened to in a while the new music and the new sound and new sound frequency is kind of where my journey started with creation and music and dancing and love and art and which led me to reading cards so i'm really grateful for doing this and sharing this creational aspect of creativity, love, and the journey of the twin flames, because this journey for all of us started when we created our soul together as one, meaning you and your twin. It created itself together. It created you. The creation is you and your twin. And this is a channeled message almost just like coming through right now. The creation is you and your twin. The symphony of love is the creation of the union coming together right now. And that is of birth and life and creativity and creation. Before it literally was the earth was literally going through this transformational death process unfortunately to say and now we're coming back to life now we're coming back to love and the creation of the union is love it is divine sexuality it is coming home for the divine feminine and the divine masculine these waves of love the the, the love was always there and now these layers are unfolding and unraveling into this truth of love the star is like being reborn. It's like the soul of the twin union is coming down from the galactic sphere into the earth and making a portal of creation. And that is actually what the union is doing. So the unions are really taking place on a very high scale on all levels right now. And we're merging with our divine masculine or our divine feminine. A lot of the times actually the divine feminine will understand that the divine masculine is within her and she can act in that divine masculine aspect and the divine masculine can even act in the divine feminine aspect. So it's an alchemical creation that is taking place right now. And the crowning is the star. It's the ace of creation, the ace of stars, which is amazing. It's actually the ace of fire, 
but stars do shine. So this is about shining your soul out to your divine beloved. It is about shining your soul and radiating out this galactic starlight energy on your face or in your expression. It's about being that shining star in the world because you are already that. You have always been that. You've always been this star, which you already are. You know, you are my lucky star. There's music and lyrics within songs that are always been the guidance and I've known this like forever such as Lisa Alicia Keys um she sings a song this girl is on fire and then she actually says she looks like a girl but she is actually a flame okay so these kind of songs will guide you home when you really listen in and the music the symphony, we are all sound creation. That's why music is so important. The dance of the divine feminine, the divine masculine is about the sound they create, the words they put out there, the frequency they are in. And dancing, like dancing is how I met my twin originally in spirit form. And the dance never stops. It just changes on frequency levels and it shifts within themes and the themes are now coming to the temple it's like the circle has completed itself of the journey that has helped the world heal and now it's coming home to love it is coming home to the creation the aspect of love that has always been there and is such a beautiful dance and symphony of creation and it goes very, very deep. Speaking about this brings up quite a lot of emotions for myself because it's so deep and real. And it's like the sun, it's just behind the star. So you can see divine feminine, divine masculine, here's one. But I see the star is actually being one with the sun. So it's the soul coming home, being in its essence of its true frequency, its natural essence back to its original blueprint state state of being state of mind state of emotion it's all there it is all there it has always been there but it's realizing itself in physicality form and it's like the ghost that was always next to you is now becoming physical which is part of union and I'm sure some of you have experienced that ghost-like being or even being feeling like you weren't seen or heard by even society at times because you are a timeless being. And that's something we signed up for, to work with spirit, to work with love, to work with shifting so many things. And a lot of twin flames have chosen different parts of what they were doing to create as a whole with their twin. And this wholeness of union and unity is where this rising sun, this rising star is being birthed into. So that is literally the crowning of the reading is that energy of creation, creation, even creation of children, divine sexuality, the tides of love are coming in right now. And in my dream I had when I was about 13, 14, a uh, year after I came back from South Africa, actually. Um, the underwater aspect was like remembering a lot of these past lives and remembering the internal spheres of creation with water and sound frequency and Lemuria and Atlantis. And that Lemuria and Atlantis played out within the divine feminine, divine masculine, and now we're merging back into that old blueprint but in a new version of it we're literally shaping all that we are and all that we have been into one with our twin and i can really see these tides like you know there's a thing in the bible where the tides part right well the tides are coming back together again and that symbolizes to me the divine feminine divine masculine emotional state of being creating as one rising then above what may have been lost before it's like the star was always within the ocean the star was always guiding you home 
the star was always there. Another point in my union, the star, and there's a beautiful thing that Shakespeare wrote, but I'm, yeah, it's coming home to the soul, and that is union. So the reading is stunning. It's beautiful. Because the outer cards underneath the tarot were actually the universe. So you are the universe with your twin, and it's about expansion and abundance and the lotus rising and opening. It's almost like the world is right here, the galaxy, and this lotus is like if you look above the universe and the world and you're looking down like an eagle, you're going to see this lotus like blooming. And I see the union is like the lotus. It's being reborn. And if you can like imagine yourself flying as an eagle above the sphere, you know, those vortex, which you and your twin are, you see this expansion of love. And within that essence of the internal aspect of you and your twin, you are that universe together. You are that universe together. You've always been that universe together. It's just the realization of the creation. And that is where this card is coming in because the two become one is the Rumi card. So, and if you put it up, it's the chalice, which is amazing. So I like to look at this card in two, two ways. So becoming one with your twin and drinking from the cup of divine love, divine unity, divine holiness. So much is coming through and being poured down from the divine into the union right now. And you can see it like this, like being poured down. And then becoming this oneness aspect of divine sacred marriage and unity. And then we have the card receiving that love, being that love, and being the sound of it, which is like a bell. So there is a beautiful energy of this creation coming through. Uh, absolutely stunning because what we have in the middle part of the kundalini aspect of the divine feminine and the divine masculine, what uni unifies them is the nine of cups. So the divine masculine knows it's here. He just knows it's here. Like the wish is being granted. And that's actually the star is the wish card, even though this is the ace of fire. You can also see the star within the ace of fire, which is the flame, the sacred flame. So the sacred flame is a star as well. It shines, it radiates, it burns, it ignites, it's passionate, it's driven, it's successful, it's abundant. It's all of it. It's the whole universe because we created this star, this soul together as one because we are that. And the nine of cups is the wish is being granted. Like the union is here. All the cups are aligned. This is an emotional state of being for the divine masculine knowing he's already home with the divine feminine. This is such a beautiful card. And I'm I'm feeling the love, which I really want to share some of my own expressions through this. I am feeling the love on so many levels right now, like emotionally, spiritually, physically, sexually, and my heart and my womb. It's just like, it's all just becoming this beautiful symphony. It's a dance. It's music out into the universe. It's so much love is being felt. It's being that divine flame. And that is where we need to shine bright and show up in that aspect of that energy for divine masculine, for our divine feminine. And we are both. Our divine masculine is also our divine feminine. So we need to receive that energy and be, you know, both of those aspects because it's not really about the gender rules, even if they are in a man's body or a we f female's body. It's literally about love in creation. And it's already been in creation the entire time. You created, We created this together. So this rippling out of these tides and these oceans of love are bringing forth more love and healing within the universe and the unity. So it's like the coming home of this love is here. And it's also about allowing and giving the love out to other twin flames as well. Like share the love, um, bring hope and joy 
and unity consciousness to those beings on the journey and really see that we're all orchestrating this together. Even though we have a twin, they also have a twin and they're on the journey. And the journey is now coming together in this beautiful way between now and into next year and into 2020. We're really going to see so many unions come into place. And I really believe 2019 is going to be a really powerful, potent year of love, of true love coming home to each other. Like true love coming home to itself, true love being realized, true creation, true creativity, the golden era, the golden age, the renaissance age. It's about love. It's about creativity, the Venusian aspect, seeing men as divine, beautiful beings, just as like as we see as women as divine, beautiful beings. There's this realization that's happening and it's divinely beautiful and stunning and it's full of joy and peace and um, it's spirit coming back to earth on all its aspects in its heavenly creation of God and goddess as one. And it's like this emotional flame within the heart has been fully ignited on all levels, on all timelines. And we are all time and space and we are creating everything in the now. That aspect is what is going to drive forth this union even deeper because we're going deeper right now. We're going deeper we're in Capricorn season in terms of human astrology. But we're going deeper together. Because this is also aspecting this Cancer Moon, which we're in right now, which is about water. It's about love. It's about fertility. It's about the goddess. It's about mothering energies. It's about the home internal, right? Capricorn with Cancer. So there is beauty and creation within the world. And I truly believe that when we start to see the beauty in the world, that is when we truly come home. We come home to the beloved when we have that. And we start to see that we are infinite beings of love and potential and success and abundance and all of it. Divine love, divine unity. And more and more this energy is rippling out into the world. That is what's going to create the change because we are the change that we've always been wanting to be. So it's time to rise up, Divine Twins. It's time to rise up into our full potential. And I really, truly believe that 2019 is all about that. It's like putting the glitter on and going outside and being like, Hello, everybody. I'm here to raise your vibrational frequency to inspire you to be who you are, what you've always been. You know, show people the way of freedom and love. Show people that they are that. Because we already are that. We already are all of it. We are divine love, unity, consciousness, and it's rippling tides effects, rippling out to each and everyone. And through that creation of love, it is powerful powerful stuff this is powerful stuff so allow, allow those tides of love to ripple and to dance because the star has landed the union has landed and that's what I'm truly feeling and I hope you are too and if you need guidance I am offering sessions at this time during the holidays and also, I have the alchemy readings available, which looks at the alchemical process of your union. And I guide you into that. So really looking forward to doing those sessions. And super grateful for your love and support. And also grateful for all your unions doing its process and its inner work right now and coming to this full blossoming aspect of becoming the universe itself. Anyway, speaking of that creation the creation of the universe, God and goddess, the creation of the universe is divine feminine, divine masculine in union. Yep. That's how powerful your union is. Woo. So we have the next card after the nine of cups, we have the queen of pentacles. So it's pretty much like 
the divine masculine has given the divine feminine his love. She's the queen on the throne of earth, which means she is a divine goddess on this planet in physical creation. It's time to be that divine goddess in full creation on planet earth in the Garden of Eden. This is a very powerful reading, and I'm sure you're feeling this right now because it's just these emotional waves of love just rising and flowing and flourishing and divinely making love to the divine masculine and the divine masculine making divine love to the divine feminine. Like, this is just gorgeous. It's sexy, gorgeous, exciting, juicy, full power love. The queen has... She's on her throne. She has everything she needs. She has it all. The abundance is here. The creation, the creativity. She has the divine masculine. The divine masculine is with her. Within her as well. The soul has landed back home. Which is what this process has been about. It's about the soul coming home. Inside. Because a lot of the times we viewed everything separate and now it's about this. And as again, this soul, the soul love, which is the twin flame love, the blueprint of the twins. So we have the nine of cups and we have the ace of pentacles and water and earth again. We have, you know, water and earth, Capricorn cancer cancerian so yes this beautiful energy rising out of the tides of love but it's also in the waters at the same time and swimming that dance of infinite love and eternal being of soul and god and goddess meeting in the middle of the ocean so beautiful so i'm going to go into the next cards because these next two cards that are rooting it are very powerful and I want to talk a little bit about the divine masculine, the divine feminine. I'm going to talk about the divine masculine first. The divine masculine has a hierophant and we actually have twins. They're kind of looking bald there but that's okay. We have the aspect of the divine masculine which is to me about ceremony, marriage, um, see, being seen in their priesthood, like their powerful self of creation being on their throne as well, and guiding the universe how it should be now, guiding the universe in its process. It is somewhat, there's, we got two keys as well. So the keys, you know, to open the doors of the heart, the doors of the soul, the door, literally it's the key of the divine feminine and the divine masculine coming home, entering the gates of the temple, and the divine masculine is there on his throne. And as we were looking at the queen of pentacles she's on her throne which unites them so this is the divine masculine on the divine feminine's aspect we have the ace of pentacles which takes us back to the unification energy of the ace of pentacles so god you could even see this as god or universe is marrying the twins and it's becoming a physical thing from the etheric god is handing the union, which again is the Ace of Pentacles, the physicality. This Hierophant is about, it's like, it's the priest. It's also the one that marries the union together. So God is handing the universe, the twins together. It's handing over the union in the physical aspect of creation. So the Divine Feminine has the coin, and again, this unifies them. The Divine Feminine has the coin. She has the union. And coins can actually be about um, a materialization of the union, because the union is also about abundance and creation in the physical world. And Divine Feminine energy is very much about spirit. Divine Masculine as essence is about rooting it in and grounding it in 
So they're doing this energy process of this divine union coming together in physical manifest formation. This process is going on right now. And the divine feminine is literally receiving the union in the Garden of Eden. And she's sitting on her throne. And the divine masculine is literally like, yep, I'm here too. We're doing this process together. Earth and water are like, they create a physical thing. And water is very much spirit. Earth is very physical. Emotions and the physical energy is creating into this creation of one. And the universal aspect of divine union in the universe becoming one. Drinking from the cup of love. So the priest is what's handing over the elements to create that process together. Let's go into the next card. And why I'm showing these cards all together right now is because it's part of the process. The divine masculine is the sun coming home. The sun is coming home, returning messages of love. The sunflower is about divine messages, riding on the horse, forward motion, leaving behind anything that was stuck and stagnant and coming home, returning to the divine feminine. Divine feminine has the family card of creation and abundance. The sun is returning to the family, in a sense, or returning to the union. This also has to do with the divine children coming through at this time um, from the higher dimensions, which is part of creation because the divine union is also sexual alchemy of creation. And the physical form of the divine feminine, divine masculine, wanting to create something here on this planet Earth, which when they create a child, actually they create their soul as one in essence, but it's of higher dimensional frequency in the physical form than what was of their more human nature. Let's say it that way. So this is hybrids, this is galactic children, crystal children, all those. Um, and the divine feminine is really feeling that creational aspect, you know, is definitely has to do with fertility. It definitely has to do with, you know, creating children, the new children, the new earth children. So, Divine Feminine is feeling all these creations. She might be feeling all these manifestations, creativity, abundance, love, fertility, divine sexuality, creating of the children, the, the child coming home, the abundance, the community, the family, you know, the flow of abundance just being showered upon them because that's what union actually is. It's the abundance flowing in all its aspects of love, in all its aspects of creation. The golden energy of the sun is a masculine physical force, meaning an energy. And here we have the divine feminine feeling all that creation, children, more children, abundance, um, creativity, golden age, which represents these golden coins. And it's 10, so that's a culmination of all creation coming together. It's so beautiful. These golden rays coming through, the, the sun returning, the, the creation, again, the ace of stars, the soul coming home. Amazing. The next card we have for the divine masculine is the coming home of the beloveds. This card has shown up a lot. This actually showed up for the divine masculine. The divine masculine is coming home to the feminine and I just swapped these cards. It's so funny. The sun and the <laughs> the sun is coming home to the feminine. That's cute. So um, the birds are singing harmony, symphonies, love, unity, wisdom. It's the opportunity now to open the door, divine feminine, for your divine masculine. He will open the door too. He'll knock, but you need to open the door. And the Divine Feminine is in celebration of this energy, which is coming into the Three of Cups from now into next year, 2019, because we have three, and the year 2019 equals a three year, which is the Holy Trinity having to do with the Divine Child, the Divine Mother, the Divine Father, or the union with Divine Holy Spirit. So there's this beautiful aspect of the Divine Feminine really dancing and rejoicing because this is on its way to her. 
and he is on his way to her. So a really beautiful energy. I'm going to go into what's rooting it right now in the divine aspect of union. We have the lovers, okay? So above that we had one second. I've been moving the cards around. Anyways, we had oh yeah, right here. The eight the, the nine of cups. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So that's Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. And then we have the Lovers. So it's, it's we're, we're being, the Lovers are being blessed by God. They've overcome their obstacles and they're back in the garden and they're nude like they were when they were born. Born, that word is quite significant for me. <laughs> Anyways, so they are born... They are reborn as one into unity again of sacred marriage by God, the universe, sacred marriage by the divine holy angels. Because below it, we have the actual lovers entwined. In water, in their full essence of their soul, like this because they are the universe and they are the holy cup the holy grail they are this they've always been that and they always return to each other so it's here now it still is a process for a lot of us but it's coming closer and it's available to tap into that energy now. And choosing love, it's all union, says it's lovers, number six, and the word is union. It's available. And union is everything. It's all aspects coming together, okay? That's where you need to be on a frequency for it to happen because it is that big. It is a creation of God because you are that creation of God. You and your twin are a creation of love and God. And God is love. God is the universe. The universe is the God. However you see that because you have created this divine universe with your twin. Whew. It's that big, and that love is being felt on all levels right now. It's really amazing. What we have on the outer skirts, because all this is like, we've been looking at the really juicy internal aspect of the fruit that's being offered energetically in merging into the physical of creation. Like, this is where we're at right now. It's being created. We have... For the divine masculine, we have the seven of angels, okay? The seven is about God and creation, and it says progress. So there's a lot of progress the divine masculine has been blessed with from the divine heavenly angels. From the divine feminine, for the divine feminine, we have success. So progress and success are actually one. Because success and progress are part of the picture. The divine feminine is really feeling the love. The star is the soul, right? It's landing here on the physical aspect. And all these other stars are out there too. We are the star with our twin. It's amazing. And then here, the divine masculine is like feeling this cosmic progress, right? And the divine feminine is feeling the physical, prog the physical success. They're both angels, and they're both in a feminine aspect in this one because they're being blessed by the divine. And angels don't actually have gender. They're both. Um, the wings are being opened. In the physical aspect, divine masculine is seeing the progress. and the physical aspect, the divine feminine is feeling success. So it's a connection between the two. The progress and the success are coming together. And the outer skirts again for the Divine Masculine. 
he sees the divine feminine as her high priestess, which is interesting because we have the hierophant here. Ah, isn't that cool? Look at that. They both have pillars, so we have 1111 right here. This is on the aspect of the divine masculine. It's kind of like, well, this one's a little above, so it's next to progress, but they're doing their dance together. And the divine masculine is really seeing this right now. The king and the queen, the priest and the priestess. Yes, that's how big this is. Look at that. It's amazing. Actually, the divine feminine is on the outer. So the divine masculine is seeing and feeling and sensing her priestess essence in the physical. And this is also where he's at in a more energetic level, but he's joining her. But he's also feeling her and seeing this in her, which he's starting to see in him, in himself, or in his, the masculine is sensing this, whatever energy you are. It's not based on gender. We have the moon, the magical priestess, and the magical priest. And it's like... This masculine is marrying the twins, right? But also they're helping other twins join together to be in that marital marital energy of divine sacred union because this is what is rooting the energy. And that's like the marriage is happening right here. So this is the rooting energy. And we're coming to this aspect of this coming into creation. Sacred love, sacred alchemy, divine, sacred sexual alchemy. And this is where the physical is showing up right now. The divine feminine is really being seen by the divine masculine in her essence of being the high priestess. And the divine masculine is entering into his priesthood while he's doing this process with her. On the divine feminine's aspect... Okay, one second. Okay, there we go. We have the star. We have the star. And below the star is the Ten of Cups. So that's union, and it's all union for everyone. And on this side, I'm going to show both because that's how they came up, and they didn't want to have a synchronized version what was before what is after because it's part of it the star is the union it's also feminine energy of the wish coming true which is dealing with the nine of cups and the star is also the pentacle so that's that energy nine of cups is very much connected to the ten of cups with the queen of pentacles which is the star so there is this process going on with water again and earth. And the star is like the soul of the twins birthing here on earth because that's originally what happened. We fell from the galaxy into the planet as a star and the soul separated. Anyways, and we went into the world. And that's where I'm gonna like what this is symbolizing, but it's bringing the twins back together, if that makes sense. And this energy is about the high priestess, right? being there and the divine masculine is actually facing going towards the feminine this card is coming home so he is coming home to her and that's in the outer sphere these two cards so as she steps into the role the high priestess even though this is on the masculine side he comes home to her and it's pretty amazing because we have the high priestess and the high priest on the side of the masculine. So this is a physical thing. It is also the divine masculine really seeing them as this because he comes home. He returns. Like the original being of the divine masculine returns. That is a pretty amazing reading. And it comes back down to this process that's coming into the grounding foundation energetically of the Kundalini. This is becoming this. And 
we are literally in this creation process right now. So yeah, it's happening. It's there. It's in creation aspect. And God is literally handing over the creation of the union. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you'd like a further in-depth reading, because this was a generalized energy reading for Twin Flame Unions right now, I am available at this time. The link is below. I'm sending you so much love. Blessed holidays. Allow this amazing shift coming into 5D with the physical aspect on Earth here with your twin. Allow it to unfold. And again, I am here to read the alchemy process for you, to truly ground it in for you and root it in for you. Namaste and blessings. So much love to everyone and so much gratitude. I love you all.